Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Thursday, the 14th day of March. We are marching right through this month. Celebrate Scientist Day today. Crowdfunding day today. Dribble to work day today. I think that's like a basketball. Wow. Okay. I'm assuming. Genius day today. International Ask a Question Day, International Day of Mathematics, uh, National Pi Day. Yeah, 3.14, yeah. It's not the other That's kinds thing. of pie like we have every other day of the year. Yeah, we have a lot of pie days. Uh, National Potato Chip Day today, uh, Save a Spider Day, National Write Your Story Day, White Day today, Moth ER Day, Mother Day. I don't know what that means, Mother Day, Legal Assistance Day. Maybe other things today. Oh, uh, National Learn About Butterflies Day. All of those things. There's a lot of stuff. Whole In addition to all that, on. we have a Dear John letter from a girl whose boyfriend has been playing video games too much, and oh. now he got fired, and he's not oh. happy with her. Yeah, somehow it's her fault. We're, we're, we'll explain it. It's all coming your way. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. It might not come to a surprise to everybody, but researchers have determined that when it comes to sports, when parents behave badly, kids do as well. Does that Mm, shock anyone? Not even a little. University of South Australia says moms and dads cheering on kids in the sidelines need to be mindful of their own behavior, comparing their findings to the old saying, monkey see, monkey do. Authors found when parents behave well, kids also behave well by doing things like applauding, good play, encouraging players and supporting the game. But on the other hand, you guessed it, if mom and dad are behaving poorly, being overly critical, second guessing the ref, yelling, whatnot, guess what? Kids do the same thing. They're saying it's really important that you be positive role model for kids. You avoid shouting instructions, keep comments about all children positive and prioritize fun. So just make sure you're there to have a good time. Our daughter was in basketball for like <laughs> I, I what, knew. two weeks. <laughs> Heidi knows nothing about sports. We get there. She turned into a whole different person. She's over there going, box her out. I'm like, what does that even mean? Do you know what that means? Like she heard somebody else say it. Yeah. I'm like, did you just drink an energy drink? What is going on? <laughs> Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with InsuranceChicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know the University of London report says 90% of young women say they filter or edit all of their photos before posting them online? 90%. So 9 out of 10 young ladies do not post real photos. All of them are edited in some way. Hmm. Evening out skin tones, whitening teeth, reshaping their jaw or nose lines, even shaving off some weight. What? A professor involved in the project says he had some of the young people involved in a, st- a survey tell him that they, quote, feel overwhelmed by images of others who are too perfect and too obsessed with narrow definitions of beauty. So they're going, I'm trying to look beautiful before I post them online because all these other people are doing the same thing. Here's the thing. Just be yourself. Sooner or later, someone's going to see you in person. Oh, I've seen that before. I've yeah. seen that. Exactly. I talked to a guy, a friend, a guy that's our age, and uh, he was on a dating app, and he's like, well, I met this lady, and I'm like, she looked nothing like these yep. photos. And he's like, I don't know if these photos were from 20 years ago, or she was just doctoring the photos, but he's like, it was so weird. And he's like, I couldn't get over that. So like, now, if she's lying about what she even looks like, what else is she lying about? Mm-hmm. And I thought, I never really thought of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by InsuranceChicken.com. Angel Studios Cabrini opened with a $7.5 million opening. That was really good. 
Uh, that was number four on the list on their opening weekend. Nice. And they did very well. I've got a whole long story here they sent me, and I'm going to hit the highlights. Uh, that because they did well on the opening uh, weekend, the, it's going to be in theaters longer, which is nice. Nice. 98% audience score, a 90% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. So that's all very, very good. And for those of you who have not heard of Cabrini, um, here's what it is. It is a, it's based on a true story. And I don't know how close to the true story it is, but it's based on a true story of a nun by the last name of Cabrini. Okay. Uh, in 1889, came to the United States, was in New York City, greeted by disease, crime, impoverished children, all that. And she decided, even though she had nothing, that she was going to make it her mission to make sure these people were taken care of. And she went out and she helped fund one of the most, like her entrepreneurial mind helped build an empire unlike anything the world had ever wow. seen before. I think that's really cool. It's somebody that was on a mission. And uh, again, I love the fact that they made a movie about this. And there's some folks that said, oh, this didn't happen and that didn't happen. But again, I don't know how close to the truth it is, but I know a lot of it's based in truth and it's out right now. Uh, angel.com slash watch slash Cabrini is the website. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint at just $15 a month. That's an average savings of $129 each month. Month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. A Wisconsin man was arrested after he walked into a Denny's restaurant and claimed he was the new manager and cooked himself a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> that takes some guts. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to figure out how he knew there was a... I wonder how this happened. If he walked in... And he looked like... There was they, clearly no manager on duty at the time. But I'm just saying, if he walked in and somebody said, are you the new manager? And he goes, yep. Yes, I am. I am now. And I could use a sandwich. But I don't know if that was the plan, if he went in there with that plan, because how else would he even hilarious. know? That's hilarious. But here's the thing that's interesting. When I'm dressed nice and I go into a store, I have, apparently, I have like mid-level manager look, because that happens a lot. If I'm dressed even somewhat decent... I'll have people ask, excuse me, are you a manager? I'm like, I'm just trying to buy milk. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've never once decided to take over the kitchen. I've, just, I've never done that. That's a bit of a leap. Anyone who's into cycling, hiking, or long distance running could be familiar with a fitness app called Strava. It's used to track outdoor activities using GPS and incorporate social networking features. Well, soon, many dog owners will be familiar with it, too, because now Strava is for the dogs. Owners can now show off their canine companions' athletic feats on the same platform that they put their own accomplishments on. They're partnering with a smart dog collar brand, Fi, F-I, Fi collars have built-in satellite positioning systems like a sports watch. They're designed ah. to help lost pets be found quicker, monitor a few basic health metrics of your pet, and now the same tech can be used to log your dog's exercise. Huh. So that's kind of an interesting idea. That is very It'll interesting. It'll take in the number of steps. Now I wonder if that's the same with people when they have two feet and they've got four feet for a dog. <laughs> it's still the same, same number, of steps. number of steps. They don't double because of the... <laughs> it's like... There's a lot of steps, man. <laughs> the app will also upload you the route of your dog's walk. Uh, there's all kinds of things it'll do. It's Shouldn't 70... you already know that? Yeah, you should be there with I them. I mean... 76% of users with pets say that their dogs motivate them to get outside when they otherwise wouldn't. I like that. That's cool. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. It's time right now for Dear, Dear John, John Letters. Letters. Dear John. Dear John. All right. I was thinking maybe we should come up with our own theme song instead of using that one. I love that theme song. I like that one too, but I, I'm going to see. I've, I've got ah, an idea. I like I'm going to work on it. We'll see. Between now and next week, if I come up with something amazing, Ugh. we might have a brand new, amazing. I like the one we got. Dear John. 
theme song starting next week. We'll see. All right, here we go. Dear John, my boyfriend is a good guy, but he has a problem. He bought a new video game system and is addicted to it. He started playing with it day and night. I mean, all the time. Lately, he's been calling in sick to work so he can stay home and play his video game. Yikes. Then he was out paid out of paid leave, so he started lying to his boss about why he couldn't come in. Well, the boss, rightfully, is not paying him for the time he's taking off. Finally, he got one last warning. The boss called, and I picked up the phone. He asked where my boyfriend was and whether or not he was coming to work. I said straight up, no. He was up all night playing video games. Oh. She told me, tell him not to bother coming back. His final check will be arriving in the next 48 hours. <laughs> A couple hours later, he woke up, and then he called me. And uh, she said, I was at work. I, and and uh, he said, I got a text from my boss. He's, uh, she's saying I was fired. She said, yeah, I know. She called for you, and I talked to her. He's furious and says, I didn't have his back, and that he had it all under control until I messed things up. Uh-huh. This is going to be a big problem because losing his paycheck is going to hurt. But this is not my fault. He has to take responsibility, right? What should I have done? Signed, done being gamed. <laughs> see what I did there? I see what you did there. That was gamed. That was fantastic. <sighs> so anyway, if you would like to uh, chime in, you can do it on our Facebook page. But first, Heidi, what do you think? Did she do something wrong by not lying for him? No, she can't be lying for him. And you might want to seriously con- reconsider yeah. this whole relationship because he's not a grown up. And I, it doesn't say how old they are. I have no idea. So it's boyfriend, girlfriend. It doesn't matter. If they're living together, they've got bills, they've got responsibilities. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Mm. Um. <laughs> I just think the whole thing seems kind of ridiculous to me, but I'm not a video game person. It doesn't so, matter. If I know, you've got but I'm a just job, saying, you go to work. Yeah, absolutely. Work has to come first. But there are times that you and I have, uh, like, we'll catch a series and we start watching. That's why we try not to watch series anymore. Somebody say, oh, have you seen Yellowstone? I'm like, I don't have the time. No, and we're not going to. <laughs> no, and I've got people going, oh, you would love Yellowstone. I'm, sure I'm like, we would. You know, I've seen some pieces here and there, and it looks amazing. But I... I put off watching The Godfather, and I finally did watch all of that because I was told that I wasn't, I was not You're worthy. Not a man until you watch The Godfather. Of, I'm not even going to talk to you to see it. <laughs> so I still haven't seen most of the James Bond movies. I haven't seen all of the uh, Fast and Furious. I saw like one of them, but there's what is there 400 of those now? I've Something missed a like few. That, yeah. so, uh, but the reason I try not to do that is because I don't want to get sucked in. I have a very addictive personality. So I've also never really been like too keen on video games because I know this would probably be me. You'd be listening to the John and Heidi show and it would just be Heidi and I would be playing a video game in the other room. So <laughs> so I, uh, you're welcome, everybody. That's why I haven't played many video games. But I do know people who have let this kind of thing take over. And I think that it's okay to have, you know, uh, time to play video games and do that. But there's a time. Yes. There's a yeah, time and place a for right everything. right time. And it's not just video games. It's anything. So don't get mad at me if you're a gamer, because this could be anything. It could be shopping, too. You know, if there's somebody that's going shopping too much, and instead of getting work done, oh, hey, I was at the store shopping. Yeah, if you're not going to work, it's a problem. Yeah, and it could be gardening. I mean, it could seriously be. If uh, instead of doing all the things I was supposed to do, I was busy in my garden. The thing could be literally anything. For him, it's this video game. And I don't know what the answer is. I guess he has to take responsibility, right? First question, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what should I do? I don't know that there's anything you can do other run. than... <laughs> well, run, yeah. But I didn't say other than have a conversation with him saying, okay, let's find a different job and let's find one where it's not going to be an issue, you know, where either this works within your schedule or, you know, if, if you feel like you need to play video games all the time, maybe you should find a job where you can do that. I don't know that there's a lot of those out there. But there are some. So, again, I don't know. Um, like Heidi's saying, run, maybe that's the answer. What do you think? You can chime in at facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. And you can submit your own Dear John letter for next week, potentially with an all-new theme song, at no. facebook.com slash John and Heidi, or at the bottom of the page at johnandheidyshow.com. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows, you might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. 
Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Technically speaking, brides do not walk down the aisle. They walk down the nave. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not an aisle. It's a nave. All right. Well, I'm just, you know, going to get technical. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Blue-eyed people have higher alcohol tolerance than non-blue-eyed people. Do you have blue eyes? Yes, I do. <laughs> Thought you looked familiar. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The bobsled was so named because early racers bobbed their heads back and forth oh. to gain speed. It didn't work, by the way. But they were thinking, you know, by going forward okay, and backward, yeah. they were going to make them go faster. They were bobbing back and forth, and it didn't, it didn't work. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? A whole orange will float, but a peeled orange will sink. So it must be the oh, really? peel that makes it float. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurancechicken.com? That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. According to a survey, this is the number one thing people eat on dates. What is it? I would have never even put this on the list. If you gave me 10 things, I wouldn't have guessed this. It's well, not kind of spaghetti. A, no. <laughs> it's no. Cookies. What? So apparently, the, the really? because I suppose if you're having like coffee, you could have coffee and cookies. If you're having a meal, you could have meal, and that could be cookies yeah, for dessert. Yeah, I would have never. So that I would have never thought about that. But my radar. No, but the number one thing people eat on dates are cookies. I've never had a cookie on a date because my wife doesn't let me have cookies <laughs> these days. You're on a diet. <laughs> the Girl Scouts are right now picketing in our front yard. <laughs> All right. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. In a town in West Virginia, they held a candlelit vigil for a local Hooters restaurant that was set to be demolished. The restaurant, <laughs> the, the restaurant in, a, in a neighborhood in Charleston got a proper farewell in late February from its customers who held on hope for years that they would reopen after it closed four years ago. The memorial began on Facebook where people and locals and visitors alike shared their memories of their favorite little hangout. Outside the closed restaurant, organizers made chicken wings and Hooters wing sauce and served up helpings of its famous strip chicken sandwich. That's adorable. How so, fun. Yeah, because it kind of sounds like it's not coming back. It no, it doesn't four years sound like ago, it. And they've been holding out hope for four years. It's a dedicated and group of people. Is, it doesn't say it was a huge group of people, but <laughs> that's why it's weird news. Does that just seem odd? A little bit. But, you know, I'm not a big Hooters fan. Like, I've never, ever <laughs> been a big, like, oh, we got to go to that place. But uh, I would do that for a restaurant that I loved. I could see me signing it, like, definitely. I, I could see you organizing it. <laughs> I would be the one, like, get on my Facebook page. <sighs> All right. Weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Probably won't get through all these today, but we're going to start them today. Mind-blowing psychology facts like this. Any friendship between the ages of 6 and 28 is more likely to be long-lasting. So think about your best friends. You probably met them between the ages of 16 okay. and 28. I oh, agree with that. Okay. That makes sense to me. Um, another one. Women like deep voices on men because it's an indicator of a larger body. Okay. Men prefer higher pitched voices on women. It's representative of a smaller body. Oh, so is that? Do, do you do you like my voice, baby? Hmm? I is really do. It's... Oh, thank you so much. Well... <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? If a rule seems too strict, we tend to want to break it more. It's natural reaction of wanting to restore your sense of control and freedom. 
So that's kind of cool. Okay. And we'll do at least one more today. Uh, the way a person treats service workers reveals their true character. I agree. Especially true of those with more money. So I know people who've actually gone on job interviews at restaurants. I had one uh, where I was taken on an interview at a restaurant, and that is partially why they do that. Several interesting, mind-blowing psychological facts on the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. You cannot believe everything you hear, but you can repeat it. It's an anonymous quote today. That's why I didn't say the Uh, name first. Anonymous quote says, you can't believe everything you hear, but you can repeat it. And people do all the time. And then I just repeated the quote because, well, I did. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Kind of an adorable story. It comes your way courtesy of Genesis Gold, IRA.com. When you go to that website, you'll see a photo of my beautiful wife on there. That's you. Yes. It says, as, We've established as that. heard on the John and Heidi show. <laughs> when she was asking for a photo, I didn't know what it was for. I, I would have sent a different photo. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> here's the headline. Love story comes full circle as couples discover serendipitous connection. Uh, this is from Utah. In a heartwarming turn of events, Kelsey Pohl and Tyler West's love story took an unexpected twist as they delved into the past while planning their upcoming wedding. What started as a chance encounter at the bank where Kelsey works as a teller blossomed into a romance that then led to a proposal. Little did they know their love story had roots that dated back 22 years. They didn't even realize it. They were eagerly planning their wedding. They decided to take a trip down memory lane, flipping through old family photos, Kelsey's baby book, amidst the cherished memories of her early days, an astounding revelation was there. A photograph captured a moment that transcended the boundaries of time and chance. Tyler's mother, Marianne West, was shown taking Kelsey's footprints while she was a newborn baby. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, it says, we were looking through my baby book and some pictures for our wedding video, and we see this picture. It's his mom. Kelsey exclaimed with disbelief. Wow. It's like, that's my mom. It was undeniably his mom. The coincidence deepened when the couple stumbled upon a certificate that Kelsey's mother had received after her birth, featuring none other than Marianne's distinctive handwriting. The families both believed the couple was meant to be together, And that was yet one more indication of that fact. That is so great. There's a quote here from Stacy. It says, there are just some things that are too strange and strong to be a coincidence. And that is exactly how I feel here. I think it's a cool story. It's a really uh, cool story. And I've heard things like this happen in the past where, you know, and when you and I first met. I still swear there's some way we were connected before. Because I see photos of Heidi as a child and Uh I'm like, I feel like I knew you. But we grew up in different states. Now, we weren't that far apart. We were four hours apart, but I still don't know exactly when or where we would have met. But I, I, many times I see photos of Heidi as a little girl and I'm like, I feel like I knew that little girl. Yeah. I don't know why. Probably because she looked like she was into some trouble. (laughs) Just like she still is. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show.